वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग द टॉपिक इपिस्टेटिक इंटरेक्शंस आई विल बी डीलिंग टुडे अबाउट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री जीन एक्शन आर आल्सो कॉल्ड डुप्लीकेट रिसेसिव इपिस्टेसिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज फिफ्टींथ अगस्त टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री इट इज सेवेंटी सेवेंथ इंडिपेंडेंस डे ऑफ अवर कंट्री वी हैव सेलिब्रेटेड टूडे इन अ वेरी इंथुसियास्टिक वे so before starting i i'm wishing you all a very happy independence day of our country so to discuss about complementary gene action the word complementary itself is saying that something is there which is complementing each other means there are two genes interacting each other in complementary manner just you keep in your mind that there are two genes if they are are they are available separately they are not giving the product once they are coming together in dominant state they are complementing each other and giving rise to the product giving the product i mean so both the genes are required in dominant phase to give the product if any gene of the two is present in recessive form it is not able to give the product you will be getting the contrasting of the product as in the case of it, as for example in case of sweet pea lathyrus odoratus if you see if you cross them you are having purple color of the flower purple color of the flower as well as white color of the flower so say for example if purple color, color is coming only when both the genes are coming together in dominant phase if any gene is coming in recessive form in homozygous condition you are going to get the contrast that is white this is the complementary gene action when both the genes are coming together in dominant phase whether in homozygous dominant phase or in heterozygous dominant phase but if they are coming in dominant phase together they are giving the product they are complementing each other and giving the product as in case of sweet pea you are saying that the purple is purple color of flower is only coming when capital c capital c capital r capital r is there both in dominant phase if two genes are controlling or capital c small c capital r capital r then also you are getting the product purple if capital c capital c capital r is small r then also you are getting the product purple if capital c is small c capital r is small r then also you are getting the product if any one of the two genes c and r is coming in recessive form means that is not available in the dominant phase they are uh, that is unable to complement to the next gene and that is why you are get, getting the contrast of the product white in case of sweet pea you see 
if it's small c small c capital r capital r then also you are getting white flower if it's small c small c capital r small r then also you are getting white flower if capital c capital c small r small r then also you are getting white flower if capital c small c small r small r then also you are getting white flower you see any any condition you see this plant is having dominant allele at only one gene one locus this also is having only dominant allele at only one locus this also is having dominant allele at only one locus this is also having dominant allele only at only one locus even if both are coming in a recessive form if both are coming in recessive form then also you are getting small c small c small r small r then also you are getting the contrast of the purple the white so this is the uh, complementary gene action just you keep in your mind this type of gene interaction when there are two genes controlling a trait particular trait are coming together in dominant state they are complementing each other then they are they are giving the product if they are not in any of the loci or on the both the loci if they are present in a recessive form either on both the loci in recessive form or any of the two loci in recessive form they are unable to complement so this is the complementary gene action and in this case when you will be making the checkerboard you will be finding in f2 ratio is changed the mendelian ratio is changed here to 9 is to 7 you will be finding 9 purple and 7 white i'll be giving you the example with the checkerboard now you see the definition here complementary gene action when a character needs two dominant genes together to express means two genes are complementing each other to produce the character and when any of any one of two or both the genes are present in homozygous recessive state like this any in homozygous recessive state as you are seeing small c small e here capital r capital r small c small c capital r small r capital c capital c small r small r capital c small c small r small r then they are giving the this also small c small c small r small r this also homozygous recessive state when any one of two or both the genes are present in homozygous recessive state then the contrasting product you are getting the white if you talk as why you are saying the complementary gene action as duplicate recessive species now you can see the same thing when recessive alleles at either of the two loci in any locus or on the both the locus they are present in recessive homozygous state can hide the expression can hide the expression of dominant allele at the second locus as you see this is hiding this recessive is hiding the effect of capital R capital R this is small c small c is hiding the effect of capital R small r this is small r small r is hiding the impact of capital C capital C this is small r small r is hiding the impact of capital C small c and when both are in both the genes are in recessive form then also contrast so recessive 
duplicate recessive epistasis whether capital R, whether small c small c or small r small r coming in homozygous condition they are called duplicate recessive epistasis they are hiding the expression of the another uh, locus when one is one gene is coming in homozygous recessive state is hiding the next impact of the next second uh, gene so that is why you are calling duplicate recessive both are hiding each other duplicate when uh, when they are coming in recessive form duplicate recessive epistasis so whatever you are going to get by this or this will be like this will be like this so whether you are calling it duplicate recessive epistasis 9 is to 7 you are finding here also the same thing you are getting so now uh, i would like to give you the example of sweet pea in properly checkerboard now you can see an example of sweet pea sweet pea in sweet pea two types of flowers are seen the purple and white if you are making one variety the purple as female is having capital c capital c capital r capital r another you are using as male you are taking pollinating you are emasculating it and pollinating from this white which is having small c small c small r small r in f1 whatever seed you are harvesting from here you are getting capital c small c capital r small r all the seeds will be like this capital c small c capital r small r and you are seeing that both the genes are coming in dominant phase in the f1 that is why all plants are giving all flowers purple type only if you self any plant of this f1 you will be getting the f2 seed and if you are growing that f2 seed this is the f2 generation and in f2 seed only four types of gametes the male gamete as well as the female gamete you will be finding only four types all combination you make you will be getting four types of different types of genotype of the gametes the pollen grain and the ovule capital c capital r capital c small r small small c capital r and small c small r likewise in ovule also you will be getting this and if you see the combination if you make the combination here you are finding white why white at one loca uh, at one locus homozygous recessive is found in any locus if you are getting if both the locus homozygous recessive or in any locus uh, if, if both the on both the loci you are getting homozygous recessive that will be white if any one of the uh, uh, two loci any any locus is in homozygous recessive state as you are seeing here small uh, 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 capital c small c small r small r this giving the white both the both the genes are in recessive form they are also giving the white so one white 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so seven white you are getting and if you count the purple there are nine purple so nine is to seven ratio you will be finding in complementary gene action whether you are saying it complementary gene action or duplicate recessive epistasis both are same thing so this is all about epistatic interaction that is duplicate gene action or duplicate recessive epistasis i'll be coming in next uh, uh, uh lecture with the next topic thanking you very much